Hello friends, uh, today we are going to discuss about online business. What online business you can start today from home and scale it to anywhere uh, you know, in the world to any level you want. So let's jump into it and understand about what kind of online business because there are so many businesses you can start today online. What is the right business for you and what are the options you have? So let me share my screen and we will get started right away. Okay, now let's see. So these are the online businesses, uh, you know, business options, uh, you know, what we have as per me, okay. Again, uh, just uh, put, put a comment below if you wanted to, you know, add any other online options, uh, you know, as per your knowledge, but this is what I found it exciting and uh, quite an established, uh, you know, uh, markets. So where do we start? First is, are you thinking about an online business or not? So that means, uh, you know, if business is for you, then only, you know, you can look into what are the different options I have. If you are thinking about a business which you can start today and tomorrow, okay, you will start to make money. It may not happen because why? Because any just like anything else, if, if you start a job, uh, you know, can we can you start your job right away without any kind of a knowledge about that field? Uh, you know, not really. So that means you have to go through a bit of a learning. Okay, just in in online businesses as well, you have to allow yourself to learn. Okay, so. Now let's talk about, okay, you have decided that, okay, I want to build a business, uh, you know, online because that is, the, uh, that is the thing to go for and I can operate it at my luxury of time along with my job commitment. I can put some of my unproductive time in building my online business. So then, yeah, absolutely. You can start your own business today. Then to start any business, what do you need? You need product or service. Okay. So that means what are you going to sell? Either you are going to sell a product or a service. That's, that's so simple. So then you have to ask yourself the question that do I know? Or if I will ask you that, do you know what you are going to sell? If you do not know what you are going to sell, mm -hmm, then that is a way as well. Okay. Now let's talk about the first option that if you do not know what exactly you are going to sell. Okay. You are just like me probably, because when I started my online business uh, journey, I did not know what am I going to sell, okay? So if you are like me, then uh, hold on. So that is a way, okay? And the way is you have to then decide that, uh, okay, if I do not know what am I going to sell, do I know? whether I want to sell something, um, uh, somebody else uh, product or service, or I want to sell my own product or service, okay? So now if you think that, okay, I want to uh, sell my own, I do not want to sell somebody else, then there is a, a route, you know, which is uh, different than if you want to sell, uh, you know, the product or service of somebody else, okay? Now, when we are talking about, now we are talking about a service, okay? Now we assume that, okay, you do not know what service you can, you can sell, okay? Now, then affiliate marketing is the in thing to go uh, where you do not, you may not create your own product, or you know your info product we call it a info product which is kind of a not you know a physical product but an informational product okay which is i'm really excited about the info product industry as such to be honest so so you can uh, start your own affiliate marketing business that means affiliate marketing is when you are selling somebody else's product but what you are doing is you are just uh, you know getting the customers for that uh, you know for that product or the service okay so affiliate market is the in thing to go. Now, let's say if you want to, you say that, okay, I am not sure what I'm going to sell, but I wanted to do something of my own, my own product or service, okay? What is the advantage of that? Is you can scale it, you know? You can, you get that satisfaction as well out of, you know, uh, creating your own product. If you want to do that, then you have to move on to ask uh, to yourself, 
what am I good at? What is my interest? What is my passion? Okay. Now, if you know about your interest and the passion, that is the best way to find a business idea to become humongously successful. With internet, okay, with Facebook in your hand or uh, Google in your hand, you can scale it big. Okay. Now, so how do you know about your uh, passion or uh, you know your interest in certain things? Well, you can you know if you you asked other people in your family uh, or your, within your friend circle, they will be able to tell. Okay. Or you can just gaze. Okay. What other people come and ask me about? Okay, and what is that? So that means if somebody comes and asks you about certain things, even somebody has asked you probably once, that means something you know the other person did not know. Okay, so that could be a starting point for you. Okay, that uh, you know if people ask you a few questions, that means they know that you have a better knowledge than them. Okay, that's that's your kind of, a, that's your passion because if you have better knowledge, it's most mostly because you know more and your knowledge in the more comes from your interest or your passion or your experiences in that field, okay? So now if you find out what's your passion and the interest is, then is uh, you have to just start your uh, blog or more importantly, start your own YouTube channel, okay? Where you spread whatever you know, you just have to go and share, okay? Just for example, I am passionate about entrepreneurship. What I'm doing right now is I share my knowledge and wisdom about entrepreneurship and how you can start your own business, uh, you know, online um, in, in different media. So you are going to do the same thing. If you are passionate about cooking, you are passionate uh, about uh, reading, uh, or meditation, or uh, you know, even making embroidery, um, or knitting, and uh, you know, there are so many things. Okay, or it may not be your passion, but your knowledge. You know about it. it it's, uh, you may say that I don't have a passion, but I know. Well, your knowledge uh, is something which can be humongously uh, profitable as well to our uh, profitable business because other people maybe looking for that information, what you have in your hand, okay? So start blogging, okay? Starting a blog and starting your own YouTube channel. What you are doing is you are just spreading the knowledge. And what is the advantage of spreading the knowledge, okay? The spreading the knowledge is first is you are happy. Why? Because that's what you're passionate about, okay? That is what you want to spread the word, okay? And the second thing is you are getting the attention of other people, okay? Because there is not, you are not the only person having that interest and the passion. There are so many other people out there who share the same passion, same interest, same knowledge, what you want to share, okay? Or they want to learn more, okay? So now that is where the info product industry comes in, where you can sell, you know, your information uh, by packaging it as an ebook, as, uh, you know, an online course or your membership site, you can share that information or, uh, you know, at a higher level, you can provide the mentorship. Okay. So this is kind of a gradual progression. We start as an info product to, you know, membership site, to master classes to mentorship. So these are the things what you can scale your business to any level you want. Okay. So now let's go back to uh, the thing like, you know, what you want to sell, okay? Now, if you want to, you know that you want to sell your service, okay? Then let's go for it. You can go, uh, package your product and sell it, you know? Um, and just like the way we discussed, you know, you can sell uh, info product, membership site, when, uh, you know, master class and uh, mentorship program, okay? So that is the service you are, uh, you can sell. Or if it say that it's a pro it's product you wanted to sell, then the product, again, that it comes uh, two things in, in mind. Okay, do you want to procure the product? What you want to sell yourself that you want to connect with the, uh, with the supplier of the products and you want to take care of the responsibility of warehousing and fulfill, fulfilling the uh, you know, product delivery and uh, picking, packing and uh, shipping, all those things. Do you want to do that? Now, here comes two things, okay? 
if you want to sell your own product, that means you want to take care of these, uh, you know, kind of product procurement and supplying of the uh, supply of the, uh, supplying of the products, then there are another two options as well. Who are you going to sell it to? Okay. Do you want to sell uh, to an existing market or do you want to sell it, uh, you know, um, or you want to create the market or the existing market is there and you want to market the products to them, okay? Uh, to them uh, where it requires a bit of a marketing effort. Let's understand it very carefully, okay? Now, existing market, that means it's a marketplace. Amazon is a marketplace. There are hundreds and thousands of people every day, every hour, they are online buying things world's biggest marketplace. That means a one place people sell products and they, people buy products. Okay, then Amazon has a program called Amazon Fulfillment by Amazon, FBA program, which I'm really, really good about. Uh, really, you know, uh, I would suggest you can go for that as well. Uh, so Amazon has two programs, Amazon FBA program where the, the product fulfillment, that means the product uh, sort of a picking up the products, uh, you know, when the customer order comes in and then shipping it to them and taking care of any issues around the products, uh, you know, Amazon takes care of it, okay? So that's called fulfillment, fulfillment by Amazon, or you can just uh, sell the products from your own home. You just stock it at your home. Sometimes you don't want to do that. You don't want to stock your own product, okay? But Amazon FBA program, you have to uh, pay a monthly subscription fee. Okay, and you have to kind of connect with the with the supplier of the products, and you just have to negotiate with them, and then they they supply the products to the Amazon warehouses all around the world, wherever you want to get the products to be shipped to, and then uh, you know uh, you know the following things uh, you know taken care of by Amazon. That means this they, they pick up the products and then they supply the the products to your customer. Okay, so that's the Amazon FBA program. So that means the good thing about that is you right away, you have access to thousands, hundreds and thousands of millions of people online on Amazon platform, okay? The bad thing about that is there are so many sellers as well there. There are thousands and hundreds and thousands of sellers because everyone wants to sell the products in Amazon, okay? So that's where that will be a big competition in there. And uh, in order for your product, if you are a, are a newbie, in order for your products to be ranked so that other people can see that you exist, you know, either you have to, you know, get a lot of reviews, you know, and if you as a newbie, newbie, you may not get a lot of reviews, but you have to spend that money uh, in advertisement. So it may be a bit tricky as well, okay, to get it unless you get into a niche or a, or a niche, okay, where, you know, there is not much of a competition and then you are kind of a one or two people and you can rank your product on the first page of Amazon. So that means, yeah, you have good chance, okay. So that, that's Amazon FBA program uh, where and a lot of people have made a lot of money as well. Let's say you do not want that, okay? You want to, uh, okay, another demerit or a major demerit I think about Amazon FBA program, which I forgot to tell you, is the customers. You do not own those customers. Even if you, you know, one of, uh, because of your marketing efforts, you put that, uh, you know, spend that money and you have, you know, people coming in and some people bought the, your product but you do not own these customers or their database. Amazon does not give you that information about, okay, this customer bought, and this is this customer's email address, okay? They do not. So they keep those information to themselves because that's their asset. But what about your asset? Are you building any asset in there here? Mm, not really. So in that uh, way, even if you are humongously successfully selling a lot of products to an Amazon, tomorrow Amazon decides, okay, this product, I want to put my own, uh, you know, product, uh, you know, to compete with this product because this product is selling really well. Well, you cannot compete with Amazon, even though your product is in their platform, but they can sell more, okay, because they own the customers as well. So that is where that it becomes a bit tricky, that Amazon FBA program, okay? If you are looking into it, uh, then that's fine. You can go and learn things. Main thing about these aspects, what I am discussing here is you have to go and learn. Do not experiment it without having the proper knowledge. How do you learn? The free learning resources are, are there. You can go to, to get into YouTube and uh, so many videos, you can start to learn, learn, learn. Or you can take up courses as well. A lot of YouTube videos are 
uh, out there by people who are already have their coaching classes. They, they give coachings because they're already successful in their business. They give, they give you mentorships so that you can you can buy one of the courses and uh, you know or you can take them as a mentor you may cost you more okay and then they help you so that's about amazon fba let's talk about you know the um, the second business model well you want e-commerce business but you want to own your own customers because you just don't want uh, you know somebody else uh, you you put all the efforts in somebody else like amazon uh, you know um, owns the, your customer so then you have you can go for a program called uh, um, or a website called Shopify. Okay, Shopify. Whether if you do not know, they are quite popular. So they provide you a platform. They build. Uh, you know, uh, they have all the tools, ready-made tools. You can go online, and uh, you know they they will put it all together. You can you can have your own e-commerce website in just uh, you know under an hour as well. Okay, with with shopping cart in place and everything in place. So. With that, you will have your own website. So that means uh, you know you don't have to market your products through another uh, you know website like Amazon. It's your own website. That means yourbusiness.com. Okay. So that means uh, you know you own it. And now you have that option to uh, create your own customer base, and you can start to sell them more and more products. Okay. So for example, somebody bought yoga mat. And uh, that person may, you know, you may want to sell uh, the yoga pants to them, or you know, um, some dumbbells, you know, or uh, you know, any kind of uh, you know products associated, uh, you know, with uh, the product which you sent before. Okay, so that is possible. Okay, so that which is really big positive in 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 the case of Shopify, who takes care of all those things. But however. With all these two, or Shopify or Amazon FBA, what what you have to do is you have to take care. You have to negotiate where the products are coming from. Okay, it, it, probably you may have to reach out to someone, you know, in Alibaba. Okay, um, Alibaba.com. You want to go and get a, get hold of a wholesaler in China. Okay, but you have to do that. Okay, and negotiate them and get them to deliver the products. And what what happens if the products do not get delivered or something happens? Well, that's your responsibility. Okay. So that these are the demerits of uh, you know owning your own product. Now let's go to another market. If you are, do not want to get into the hassles of owning the products, then you have two options. Okay, one is affiliate marketing, another is network marketing businesses. Okay, in either of these two cases, you do not have to own any product, even though you are affiliated with a company and its products, because you are not the owner of the products you don't have to take care of the uh, picking packing shipping uh, you know uh, customer return and uh, you know so those things are all handled by another company and that is super powerful okay so you can be an affiliate what is affiliate marketing in network marketing what is the difference well in affiliate marketing you are just the marketer of the product so that means you drive traffic to a customer, uh, sorry, a, a company's website where they will buy your traffic will go and buy the products, and because they came through your link, an online link, uh, you know the system knows, uh, the company knows whoever you are an affiliate of. They know that okay, this is John who sent this traffic. Hey, John, we are going to pay you based on whatever is the percentage affiliate commission, you know, um, agreed or you know when you join this affiliate program whatever is uh, you know you would know about that okay so that is called affiliate marketing now affiliate marketing good thing about that is you can build your own customer uh, database of your customers email addresses that means you can keep marketing them with other products as well so you can be affiliate of uh, this similar kind of a products of different uh, different companies uh, you know and uh, you know you can you can sell um, you know to or market those products to your customer base okay which which is no ha no hassle just like you know in amazon FBA or shopify shopify you have that hassle here there is no hassle okay now um, network marketing what is that that is again a very lucrative one in affiliate marketing is your customer database is your asset okay and in network marketing what is an asset for you it is your network. So what you are doing is you are building a network of entrepreneurs or businessmen or, or people who are, who are owning their own businesses. Okay, so that is a network you are built. Okay, so that is super powerful. Why? 
is because unlike affiliate marketing where you keep you know um, you know selling the products and you know keep um, uh, keep marketing your uh, uh, to these customers um, you know, potential customers in network marketing you may not have to go and look for a lot of customers what you are doing is you are just creating a small customer base small little volume however you identify business partners okay who also wants to be entrepreneur just like yourself okay and they do a small business turnover as well but it accounts for your turnover and the highest turnover as well so that means both of you are rewarded by who by the company who you are a network marketer of and that is super powerful as well okay so that means once you build a network so that is your asset and this network keeps growing okay as as you build a team it keeps growing and after some time as well your income becomes passive okay so that is beauty of network marketing business okay which is uh, again a powerful business model to uh, involve into as long as you are getting the mentorship and help of how do you build these businesses you have to learn this business okay amazon fba let it be shopify let it be affiliate marketing or network marketing you have to have a business mentor or you need to have someone who is who has worked the path who has done it done it successfully and somebody is willing to help you to do that so that will make your journey on um, this uh, success uh, you know or which will make you successful quite early or quite quicker than somebody else who just uh, you know trying the things out himself or herself and uh, you know not doesn't have a coach or a mentor okay so that is about the uh, you know the network uh, you know marketing or the product side of it okay now your other thing uh, what we discussed already is about the service aspect of it services as we discussed you know that's also a big industry as well so you don't have to go for the overheads of stocking the products sourcing the products because these are the products are uh, informational products or so the knowledge you are selling okay so your knowledge or somebody else knowledge in affiliate program where it can be scalable to any level you want so hope it made sense hope you you know uh, took some notes and understand uh, understood today of what kind of a business you can start tomorrow okay so with that uh, we are done and over and out